internet to a specific site, I can either say, yeah, allow it or deny it. Moving on to transport security. So uh, if you are to get a BlackBerry, it's essential that your telco supports the BlackBerry infrastructure. So if your telco doesn't support BlackBerry, then you're not going to get the BlackBerry service. But what's interesting is when your telco provisions it, it's not actually terminating it at the telco. Instead, it's just relaying it down to the servers in Canada. So all your data, your browsing, your email, everything is routed through the RIM servers in Canada. So as you can see in the diagram, anything, any point between your BlackBerry and the RIM servers is encrypted. This includes HTTP traffic, clear text traffic, for example. This is a good thing because people on your network, on your local network, can't sniff it. They cannot sniff your data, and people at the telco can't sniff your data. So the only guys that can actually look at your data are the guys in Canada at RIM. And I have no problem with RIM being able to access my email because, I mean, when have you last heard a war started by a Canadian? Canadians are generally pretty cool guys. I like them, so I have no problem. And my best friend is a Canadian, so um, I have no problem with the Canadians reading my mail. And the next step is device encryption. So what this is, when you have an SD card, for example, or the memory on your device, you can lock it down so it's unique to your phone. So if you pull out that memory card and stick it on another BlackBerry or another reader, uh, that data is not going to be able to be read. Same with if you take apart the BlackBerry. If you take it apart and pull out the chip and try to read it, if you've locked it down with device encryption, they're not going to be able to do that. So this is excellent if your device is stolen or lost. So back to the three things that I just spoke about. I mean, just with these things, you know the BlackBerry is quite secure. All of this is relative to the BlackBerry Internet Service. Now you get two types of services. The BlackBerry Internet Service BIS, which is um, more towards the consumer market. And then you have the BlackBerry Enterprise Server, which is BES. Um, that is what the large organizations use. And if you use a BES service, then you're going to have much more security. For example, uh, you can build on top of this a set of IT security policies. So your security team can push out these policies and make sure that uh, you know, you're either that, that you adhere to the main security policy of the organization. Um, they can do something called a remote wipe in case your device is lost. Uh, all they have to do is just key in a few commands and your phone is wiped remotely. You don't have to worry about somebody getting access to your personal information. And also they're able to restrict applications that you install on your BlackBerry. Now, this could be a mixed bag. Sometimes you want to install stuff like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Or maybe it's denied by the policy. But you get this um, on the BlackBerry Enterprise service. Now, not stopping there, because maybe some of you still think that the BlackBerry is not as secure as it could be. So I did a small experiment by searching security focus uh, about two weeks ago. I did a search, I mean, as all of you may know, Security Focus is a website that catalogs vulnerabilities. It hosts a couple of uh, mailing lists, and people write in all security-related information. So I did a keyword search for two keywords. One was BlackBerry, and one was iPhone. I just wanted to see what types of vulnerabilities were plaguing each of these devices. And this is what I came across. So the BlackBerry has two vulnerabilities detected since the time. Uh, yeah, I'm just nodding to my boss there. Uh, and the iPhone has 39. Now, this is only on the device. If you're talking only on the device, the BlackBerry has two. One of them was actually found in September. And I don't know if you can actually call it an expert because it's uh, the way the BlackBerry handled uh, a certificate with a null character. So it wasn't like a remote code execution or something like that. But the iPhone, on the other hand, has a few more bugs than the BlackBerry. So BlackBerry, pretty secure. 
So why do we want to hack a BlackBerry? Basically, uh, people tend to put a lot of personal information on the BlackBerry. Um, with the way, like I mentioned, technology moving ahead, you tend to do a lot of things on your BlackBerry now. You can do e uh, internet email, etc. And it becomes an essential part of your life. And so you end up putting every little thing that you have on your BlackBerry. So with the evolution of technology and the, the way that uh, mobile devices have um, steadily improved, you begin to trust it more and you begin to put a lot more data on it. You do a lot more things on it. So the amount of personal information that goes onto the BlackBerry uh, or your mobile device is significant. So what kind of personal information are we talking about? Well, most high-end phones these days have cameras. There could be some personal pictures of yours, naughty pictures of your girlfriend or boyfriend, depending on how you swim. Uh, private text messages, for example. Um, maybe a couple of messages in there that you don't want your wife or husband to read. Um, emails, always a good thing. Websites these days, when you register on the site, uh, they need you to send you an email saying, this is your username, this is your password. And I don't know, still to this day, people use the same password throughout all of their services. Ooh. Excuse me. So they use the same password throughout their lives for the email, for the login, everything. So if you have one password, you have all of them. Uh, further in email, you find things like maybe financial information, contractual details, uh, and again, obviously, personal information. And lastly, you're going to have your phone call logs to see who you've been calling and who's been calling you. So, okay, we know why because of the personal information. So, we have a reason now to hack a BlackBerry because we want to get our hands on that personal information. I mean, it's not like we need a reason to hack, but um, this is one of the reasons. Of course, we're going to run into a few problems though because, as you know, the BlackBerry is a secure device. So, how do we hack it? Actually, before that. Um, so whether the BlackBerry is a secure device, and we know the minute that it leaves, that information leaves the BlackBerry, it gets mangled and encrypted and impossible to read. Similarly, while it's on the BlackBerry, um, all the data is encrypted as well. But there's one point where the data is not encrypted. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I can't really read raw AES encrypted data. So when I use my phone, I need to see clear text data. So at that point, when you're interacting with your phone, your data is in the clear. So the way to hack it is obviously to place a program on the BlackBerry that can read or remove that information while it's in the clear. So all we need to do is place a program, an application on the BlackBerry, that can pull out all this information while it's in the clear, before it leaves the BlackBerry and before it gets encrypted. But to do this, we're probably going to run into a few problems because you know we can't hack it. There are two vulnerabilities. One is a certificate vulnerability, so you can't really exploit that. So there are no useful vulnerabilities to uh, use that you can hack into the BlackBerry. We can't MITM the BlackBerry, or we can't do a man-in-the-middle attack because obviously the transport level security is going to take care of that. So that's out of the question as well. We could probably steal it, but then if you're looking at stealing it, you're kind of crossing a boundary. And I mean, you're moving into the physical space now. If you're going to steal a BlackBerry, you might as well steal the guy's wallet. And it's not really something that I prefer to do. <laughs> 